have you here. My name is Rachel Sunnishal. I'm the Program and Development Coordinator here at the library, and I also organize uh, Palm City. And we have um, several month-long sponsors for Palm City, National Life Group Foundation, Vermont um, Humanities Council, the Hunger Mountain Co-op, uh, the Poetry Society of Vermont, and who am I missing, George? <laughs> Oh, well, the library presents Poem City. Um, the VCFA, thank you, Judy. You have it in your hand. <laughs> um, and, and from uh, the president of the Poetry Society of Vermont is here, George Longenecker. And we're happy to have him here. He is also on the Poem City planning team. Uh, so he's really important to us. And I'm just thrilled to welcome you all back for our, our second annual Tidal Wave um, poetry reading. And I'm thrilled to work with Walt Ward, who is the facilitator for um, Shockwave Studio. And, and what's great. <laughs> and what's really nice is, is that it's both a writing program and art program. And looking at your paintings over here is just marvelous. And, and many of the paintings remind me of spring, and that's what I needed today. <laughs> so please help me welcome Walt Ward. More than just art and uh, writing, that's just a uh, one part of a small but mighty uh, program. We work on community integration. We work on uh, life skills, learning how to prepare for a job, learning how to sweat to the oldies. <laughs> oh, it's a favorite. Um, we believe that um, you can't have life skills without new skills. It's important to feel a sense of confidence. And writing and poetry is just that's the, that's the root of finding the, that, the tap root to life. And uh, I can, uh, I've had this conversation with you guys every morning probably for the last two weeks. It was like the first thing I think of, I was seeing it uh, kind of, it's really nice to see you guys for real and to be able to try to express what I want. Because I'd wake up and I'd be like, do I tell a poem, do I tell a story, or this and that. And this morning finally I was like, just shut up, <laughs> let them read, and uh, I'm going to have uh, Lewis and Rachel, they're going to kind of MC the scene, just I want you to take away that um, little scenes, uh, like to me that I want to express is seeing Mindy sitting in a, a part from the, the, in the learning network, reading her poem by herself out loud, Frankie and Lisa just working on this flashcard system, all these little victories that I've been blessed to witness for the last few weeks, last few months, actually. So I have a little poem I like, and it's by Rumi, it's my favorite. Let the beauty you love be what you do. And the beauty I love is poets and artists with heart and without pretension, not one smidgen of pretension. And I love to introduce the shockwave poets and artists. Please enjoy. my poem and I it's nice of you guys to come here as talk. Talk's not cheap anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read one. Mask red ball. The mask red ball. People of all kinds dressed in in masks of all kind. The no point. Dance under the moonlight. Sing out loud. Men wear tuxedos and women wear ball gowns with sequins all over and fancy shoes. Men wear shoes for men and women. Women wear sparkles 
Men wear fancy shoes, wear gloves. They dance to classical music. A handsome man dancing to classical music, right being on the moon. Think how you would dance, dance under the stars and the moon. Come from? Where, Rachel? Where do they come from? Poetry. Poetry. I'm Rachel Scott, and this poem is on page 15 of your book. Okay, Scott. Good evening. I am honored to share my poem with all of you tonight. My name is Scott Brony, and I use a communication device to speak. Thinking thoughts in my mind happens just like everyone, but my connection between my mind and turning are wired loosely, and that is why I type. I feel grateful and free when I have the keyboard at my fingertip. I will now read my poem title, Loud Truth. Loud Truth. Tiny dots of light sweeping over my listening mind. It is done now. Birds' soft feathers glimmer in the sun. I am slowly waking this body that is not mine. This body has an owner called August. It moves on its own without my mind. But like those who are free from August, I still love that morning light. Thank you, Scott. Up <laughs> next is what's this number? Three and four. Oh, okay. Up uh, next is Connor. On pages three and four of your um book. Keep keep staring over that pot. All right.
everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Connor Cleveland. Please listen to my words and begin learning the I am. Um. Uh -oh. of my soul. It's happy, but sad. Angry, but living. Dancing, but sitting. It's torn between love and hate. What is my life, and what is it coming to? A disaster, or a fairy tale. That is the beauty of the unknown. Not knowing what life may become. I see the light. I am no longer dreaming. Life is chaotic. Life is beautiful. This is one of Frankie's paintings. Uh, but 
I'll turn the next one. Okay. Excuse me. Is that coming through? Is that Thank you. I don't have to go inside that. Thank you, Richard. Please. I'll put the microphone in. Hello. My name is Arthur. Here is a poem I wrote and recorded called Dragon's Poem. Now, no one's afraid of dragons, because this is a tent. It's short, but intense. Okay, just one. <laughs> Listening to my poem. Good job, Arthur. Arthur's hoping to uh, develop a podcast with us, and we're going to help him with that. And any of you, please, there's an Instagram account in the back of the shockwaves. You can call Grand Utah. 
talk to Mary Kay, find me or Aaron. We can help you with any questions and we got many more projects coming up. So please keep in touch. Okay, sorry, Rachel. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> What did the what did the um, poet say to Luke Skywalker? That's what I don't know, Metaphors be with you. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one, the last one for me to announce before I any sixty out of here is Helen. <laughs> This is Helen's spring picture. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> my name is Helen Fagwitz, and my picture is um, a robin, a red robin. And I like red robins because they, they are so pretty. And with little guys, I like them too. And I like pretty flowers. And I like squirrels. I like any kind of animals, even cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're cruising right along, so I thought I would um, read a poem from a woman named Becky who couldn't make it today. So I'm going to read it for her, because we are cruising here. We got a lot of poetry. Okay, this is called Incense by Becky. I like incense. I like to watch the smoke rising through the air. It looks as if it is dancing. The shape is mesmerizing. Pretty colors, blue, gray, white, it smells nice. Triggering memories of long gone days, pretending to cook on the toy stove. Did I turn that on? The wood stove in our home that kept us cozy warm. The training wheels taken off my bike and playing with my dolls. Where did they go? Walking in the woods, leaves and pine needles crushing under my feet, the pungent smell rising to my nose. Up next, up next is Lewis. No, Deborah's up. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, up next is Lewis. Oh, Lewis. Yeah, that's our. Oh, no, Lewis is introducing. Yeah, that's why I said he's up next to introduce his people. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Stacy. You can't see nobody else. Shelby. Who? Shelby. She's not here. Oh, she I gave you the, I wrote this last time. Oh. Uh, Kayla is next. Come on, Kayla. <laughs> music of spring. You hear the music of the birds singing and chirping. You hear the music of wind blowing through the trees. You hear the music of people talking, laughing, and being happy. Spring music is hearing the squishy wet sounds of walking in the mud. Spring music is hearing the dogs running, playing, and barking. Spring music is hearing kids playing basketball on the outdoor court. There are many sounds of spirit, of spring. It's almost like everything is waking up from a long, cold winter nap. Next up is Mindy. Oh, 
so stoked that my mind's blurred. <laughs> I wanted to show this is some of uh, Arthur's dragon work. Wow. <laughs> wow. And Kayla is studying a book on masks. We are doing a, a great theme on masks. We will be showing at the Barry Opera House in June. Mask theme, adventure theme, and uh, creating ritual in everyday life. And this is a uh, Rachel Spring, her spring ringer. Next up is 
Ashley. Okay. My name is Ashley Arlen, and someone very special at home inspired me to write this. Okay. This is called A Mother. God created a mother who didn't make her a good mother. He made her an awesome mother. She needs to be loved and endorsed. A mother is full of love. I love her with all my soul. She's not just any mother. She's a mother that, that loves what comes her way. She, she helps me face my fears and be the person I am today. She, she's not just my mother, she's my friend. I enjoy having her as a, I, I, en, I enjoy have, having her um, as a mother. Next up is Wendy. I am not tall. <laughs> now, this is woo by Paul. If Paul could be here, he would do this better. Right? <laughs> I am the pink and white wolf. I have white wings like a bat. I walk to the cemetery. I do a magic white wolf dance. I bellow. Oh, baby. <laughs> cheese that smells like flowers. <laughs> I feel like the three stooges. I roar like a train whistle. I paint a car pink and white. Honk, honk, beep, beep. Woo, woo, wake up, children, wake up. Wake up. I want you to paint, too. I want you to paint a hat. I want you to paint a brace. Pink and white. You need money to eat hot dogs with hot sauce. <laughs> Next up is Elizabeth. This is Elizabeth's. Oh, on our page, page seven. I want his daddy. He is smart, funny, wise guy. He likes talking walks, the two doggy walks. He likes to cook toast. He can sing the animal song. He is Mr. Gross. He could have singing rivers and a cup of water and take her to bed. He could cry camel's home with Charlie Brown. He brought me to see dancing with the stars. He could make a dairy, dairy jelly, make a big girls with potato, 
his free time, he learned in the garden. He was yoga. He was Peter Pan. He was giant death and pirates of the Caribbean. He was more like Darth Vader in Star Wars. <laughs> he likes crossword puzzles. Sudoku's, you can read the newspaper. Uh, I gave him a doll calendar last Christmas. He called me Calendar Girl of the Year. The Galaxy Girl, Gamboard Girl, Yoga. These two dance, quick hop, quick hop, in heaven, way above me. He watches my recital. He loves me. We miss him so much. He was a morning person. Good night to him. He is morning person. <laughs> Good night to him, the big teddy bear. He brought dishes. He the press. And on that, the story of Brian, the explanation, the story aisles. He smells like chocolate with a stressor. He could watch me pull me. He takes me to the doggy bear with hot dogs, with free t shirts. Once again, Mr. Robert John Bannon passed away in February 2002. He was 86 years of age. He came from Salem, Mass. He moved to Vermont in 1946. He was born in Ireland. He had open and closing themes. First met him in 1987, I had a shirt made of him. He wore a suit and tie to work. He played his own records on his show. He called the police and fire departments, sent each other Christmas cards. <coughs> he had made voices of other people, liked to joke about the weather, called his kids to wake them up for school. <laughs> I got his autograph from him personally. He took me out to eat. I was sad when he passed away. He played John Schneider songs. I miss him a lot. He loved the Red Sox. I could not wait for him on the radio for the next day. He had a sense of humor from <coughs> Louis Cecilio Jr. And this is a green, green like a grass, and it goes 
The spring is green like a grass. When you stomp on it, it feel like you mow the lawn. Sound like a cloud. The flowers are all colors when you smell them. Like a yarn, it feels nice. When you touch them, sound like a bee buzzing. The sun is yellow and bright. When it shines, when you look up, you can smell the air. I feel warm. The ground is brown, like when <coughs> you touch them with your hands, like a dirt feel, like when you sh shove trouble, sound like a heavy footstep. The water is blue, splashing like a sky. When you go into the swimming pool, it feels warm, sound like splashing. The mud is black when you step in it. The carrot is orange like when you peel them. Feels so hard when you touch them, sound like crunching. The fruit is red like an apple, and it feels like you bite into it. It's crunchy. The strawberries feel so squishy, sound like chewing. <coughs> the animals all different like a person when they walk on all four legs and they fly it feels so soft sound when they meow bark tweet <laughs> the rock is gray like when you pick it up peel it so hard and you can look at it sound like when you drop it. The tree is tall when you look at it. Its bark is like a splinter. I feel sound like <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys very much for coming. I would just like a couple closing words from our fearless leader, Mary Kay, and I also like to thank the director of. Uh, CDS, who came to make a visit, Julie Martin. First of all, I am so proud. Proud of each and every one of you. Proud of your creative inspiration and the ability to go deep into your soul and share the wonder of who you are, right? right. Yeah. yeah, right, yeah. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and hearing them, because they are you. And we need to honor who they are and the gift that they give each one of us every single day. And there's more to come, 
Right, guys? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right. Right. And I also wanted to thank my staff because they are brilliant at working with all these incredibly talented people. All the staff at CDS that every day tirelessly, for not a lot, except the gift of love that we experience together. Um, I just want to thank you all for the hard work that you put in and the support that you give to our folks. Um, this is brilliant. And I'm really glad I'm here. I love you. <laughs> yeah. I love you all. Yes, okay, a few last words from the poets themselves. Helen, hello. Everybody, I hope you had a great time, and I make you true to write poems. It's a lot of fun. Please write. We have a good night. Oh, cool, oh, cool. It's definitely not for with Walter. <laughs> it's nice writing stories. You better keep up and write poems because it's always nice. Yes, nice, Rich. Yes. Thank you. I picked it up from going to school. <laughs> then, then, then yeah. Walter Aaron and um, Mr. Um, Joe Mar. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you for coming tonight. Um, I'm just, I came up here to read that poem. I read it all by myself, and that makes me feel um, happy and very excited that I did that. So I want to say thank you for all coming, and I'm happy that you, all you guys showed up. Thank you very much. You're I got a frog in my throat. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, I want to say keep on writing the poetry, and it's kind of fun. You can use like imagination in your head, and you can focus and have strong energy. That's what you need. Thank you very much. <laughs>